What's up you guys, it's James from James with Jeff House. In today's video we're gonna be talking about my new ice pods, my new gecko I have coming, and a couple other things. Let's hop right into it, shall we? So you might be thinking to yourself, James, why do you have all these things on your table? Well, this, because body armor is really good. This, because I like to set my phone in it. Oh look, there I am. Look, there you guys are. I'm gonna set my phone in it and watch YouTube and junk. These, I'm gonna be moving all the ice pods that aren't in tubs this size into tubs this size and the dwarf whites are going in an even bigger tub because they're exploding and the white duckies are reaching sexual maturity so I'm hoping I'm going to have some babies from them soon I'm going to do a little bit more research on uh, breeding some Cubaris uh, and seeing what I can do to help them uh, just because I, I hear Cubaris are kind of hard and I want to make sure I get it right because they're so expensive and then I got clowns up there going in one of these. And then these are going to go in one of these. Uh, these are delicious ice pods from Delicious De uh, Deli, Del Dishes, Delicious Dubia, something like that. Uh, yeah, Powder Blue is approximately 10 I did not pay that price because this is the guy I work for. And his wife uh, does the ice pods, so I got a good deal. And maybe he'll sell me some. To bring to shows. Oh, there they are. They're over in the corner. Uh, there they are. Yeah, the camera does not. Okay, so terrible camera lens, but there they are. Uh, colors a little off. They're not very blue. Uh, with a lot of things in the reptile community, uh, gray kind of equals blue. But they're cool. They they remind me of the dwarf whites in a lot of ways, but they're just bigger. And. Uh, Hopefully I can get some bluish babies from them and maybe refine my line a little bit. Um, so these will definitely go into this tub right here, one of these. Um, I'm going to make some more substrate for them and I'll throw them in there. Um, and we'll have another colony going. And hopefully these start... I bought 20. Because I bought 10 of the clowns originally. The clowns are pretty expensive. And uh, I haven't seen any activity out of them yet. So I think from now on, if I'm going to buy them... I'm gonna buy two packs. It's it's like I say with my animals. It's cool to buy random animals if you want. Just make sure whatever you buy, make sure you can afford two of them. Because you want a pair, you want to make it worth it, you want to breed. It seems with the ice pods, you know, you buy a pack of ten and they're kinda, you know, might have a bunch of males, you might have too many females, some of them might be younger. If you buy twenty, if you buy two packs or whatever, you just bettering your odds that you know you're not gonna lose them you're not gonna have all males or all females you're just better off you know uh the white duckies i only bought six they're extremely expensive uh, i wish i would have gone with something i wish i would have got rubber duckies and maybe got like 20 of them but you know they're here they're what i what i got that's what i'm working with so that's it for that in other news i did purchase a gecko i don't know how the lighting is i did purchase a gecko it's in the bay area um, I know the Bay Area is pretty shut down right now, so it's being shipped over. Shipping was only 25 bucks from the Bay to here, so that's pretty good. Um, and it comes on Tuesday? So, that's cool. It is a, a gargoyle gecko, a female. You know, uh, my parents just not doing it. Uh, I've had them for about two to three months, and I haven't had... I've seen a little bit of breeding behavior. No eggs, no sign of anything. Um, I'm... The female I bought, I'm pretty sure it was a retired breeder. Uh, I bought her from a local pet store. She just happened to be there for a good price, and I knew I wanted to get into them. So I said, uh, let me just pick her up, see what happens. And then I picked up a male uh, from someone I know. Um, so I'm getting this new female. Hopefully the male and the new female do stuff together and make something cool. Uh, and produce some cool babies. And if not, then I'll buy another male, and I'll pair that male with a new female and no matter what I'm, the old female if she doesn't lay she's sold the old male if he doesn't lay and I feed a new one he's sold you know I can sell him no problem um, another thing I can't wait for the shows to get back man selling stuff is kinda hard without the shows cause you know I got all these baby leopard geckos that are you know twenty thirty dollars and it's like no one's gonna pay to have those shipped and you can't really ship right now anyway, shipping's so difficult with all the delays and there's no guarantees on anything anymore. Um, I've been looking into getting some custom enclosures uh, for the Vietnamese Blue Beauty Snakes, whether they're six foot or four foot. We'll probably end up going with six foot eventually. 
Um, but I want them to go right here. The plan right now is to sell all the roaches off and uh, s start stacking. I want to get the wheels and everything on the first one. Um, but I have some questions about the lights and I haven't gotten an, a reply yet from, I, I think I contacted Boa Master and maybe another one. I forget what the other one is. But you know, I had a question, you know, there's fluorescent lights and there's flood lights and there's other lights that aren't like UVB or anything. And I'm like, well, which one do I want for just light so I can see my animals, you know? So still waiting to hear back on that. I don't know if they're uh, on hold because of the whole virus or what's going on, but that'd be nice for to know at least or to even place an order, know that that's being made. So we're kind of squaring away my whole quarter racks here, my, my four racks. Um, well, like I said, this one doing awesome. Uh, the pinstripe girl, I think just laid another couple eggs. So hopefully we get some nice pinstripes. I want to move all the pinstripes back in. Um, I mean like hold some back and put them back in there. Uh, just to make sure that all the females in there are pinstripes because you can't see and the glass is really dirty, but two of the three girls in here are just kind of buckskins. So I'd like to have this one, you know, all really nice pinstripes. So they only produce really nice pinstripes. This one up here will be all really cool Dalmatians. I did have a clutch from Paradise the other day. Uh, she's the oldest uh, out of the Dalmatian girls. And some of them are all right in there. Some There's like one or two that have like really good Dalmatian spots. Um, so hopefully I can produce some nice ones. And if I produce anything nicer, I'll put it back in. Up there's the gargoyles. Like I said, I'm getting another female. I'm going to just throw her in that enclosure and see what happens. She was 25 grams weight at the beginning of February, so she's got to be, you know, low 30s right now. So hopefully she's big enough. I might give her a little bit of time to adjust before I try to breed her. And then down there is the grow up tank. That one's going to eventually be for the tigers, um, but for now it's going to hold my lily white. And I want to play with lily white and how it reacts to certain... Uh, phenotypes and I might have a really cool morph I want to work in there and see what happens this uh rack right here I'm going to clean it up hopefully this weekend I keep saying that every weekend and I need to put Esmeralda in a bigger enclosure that's why I want the boa master because I if I can at least get one I can put him in one and her in that um but anyway I'm going to clean this up this weekend I might get another exoterra I, I want to put three maybe two up top and who knows what I'm going to do over there. Uh, I might, I don't know what I'm going to do over there. Who knows? Right. Um, and I'm just gonna have a bunch more and, you know, just multiply my breeding a bunch, kind of refine everything. And like I said, over here is going to be boa masters or something similar to that. I want something really nice. Uh, and then over here will kind of be leopards. I might, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get, I'm not going to get a bigger rack anytime soon. But I'm definitely going to refine the groups that are in there. Uh, I want to take a look at these two real quick. So here's a Super Snow who came out of my Tug Snow project. Uh, I've had another one actually hatch out. So you see how light it is. This one's got some really high white on the sides. Um, but you see how light it is. It's from a, it's two, it's basically a Super Max Snow. It's a Super Snow. And then in here you see my Black Knight Super Snow Double Head Blizzard Eclipse. You see how much darker this one is? And when I see that, all I see is dollar signs. And, like, I'm not even going to sell this animal. Like, especially if it's a boy, which it probably end up being a girl just because of uh, incubation temperatures. But if that was a boy, uh, he would definitely be a breeder. Um, and, I, and if I hatch any more Super Snows out of this project, I have a couple more clutches. Um, I'm definitely going to keep them all back till they're adults or pretty much adults just so I can make sure you know they're growing healthy any tail kinks I want to know because I want the best of the best especially for a project like this and here we have the regular snow and you can already see it's really dark gray and let's open this one that's what a snow usually looks like that's just a lime bread snow basically it's it's a lime bread for the dark and I added snow to it so it's only a 50% black night but you see how dark it is and how amazing it is. I can't wait for that to, uh, you know, be an adult and I can breed it with the super snow and, you know, everything will either be snows or super snows. They'll be really dark and, you know, there'll be some combination of blizzard, eclipse, or hets. 
and I think it'll just be kick ass and you know honestly it'll just make next year even better because I have I'll have all these awesome geckos uh, breeding and next year I'll have the you know white and yellow snow radars and super snow radars and white and yellow snow bell head radars and all that jazz so things are moving along here uh, I like I said I did get a new job they breed isopods they breed rats I'm gonna start feeding Frederick down there rats I want to see if she'll take a rat she's really small I, I'm as I'm looking at her I'm like there's no way she's gonna take a rat um, maybe a rat fuzzy I might have to pick up some rat fuzzies at work uh, we'll see I'm definitely gonna pick up a pack of small frozen rats for him and see if he takes them and like I said well I don't know if I did say it uh, but this video comes out Friday so the video you see coming out Sunday will be me feeding snakes Saturday so next video will be snake feeding be prepared for that I might throw in the ice pods in there and give you guys an update we'll see and I'll catch you later that was a doorbell I'm James from James Reptiles make sure to like comment subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video